the internet, my name is Susley and welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally reacting to the celebration era by Madonna. I am so excited because some of my most well-remembered and loved Madonna songs are from this era. And I mean well-remembered and loved before I started doing this reaction marathon. In general, 2009 is a time that I most fondly remember in terms of pop music. You know, that time around 2009 and 2010, these are the years when I look back and it feels like every single song was so good back then. I recently figured out what that is. That was because I was around 14, 15 around that time. And that is the age where you form your independent music taste. So if y'all look back to when you were around 15 years old, you can make a connection that that's probably the kind of music that you remember the most fondly. But yeah, even though there were only two songs in this era, I remember both of them. Surprisingly, because from what I can tell, Revolver wasn't even a single, it didn't really have a music video. Yet I still heard it and I still loved it. So really excited to listen to these songs again after all these years because it's been a while since I heard either of those and not really being played on the radio anymore because, you know, they're not like among her greatest hits. And I don't know if I've seen the Celebration music video at all, so I'm beyond hyped to check that out. But before we start, if you enjoy my videos and feel like supporting me beyond watching them, please consider supporting me through Patreon. I'll put a link to my Patreon page in the description. And also a big thank you to the people who are already supporting me on there. I love you guys so much. Thank you. So we have two new songs from this era, aka Never before heard before 2009 revolver and celebration and celebration has a music video so first as per y'all's request i'm going to listen to the album version of celebration because the music video was done to the remix version of the song so we're gonna do celebration then revolver and then the celebration music video so without further ado let's get play let's see what it's all about i am so excited i miss these songs so much oh oh my god that synth this is 2009, baby! Oh, fuck yes. It's even better than I remember, God! It's just such a nice melody, God. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this chorus. Fucking love this production, oh my God. Look, even the sun came out. Just for Madonna. God, this is so fucking good. Like I don't, I don't think it's just the nostalgia. I think it's just a genuinely a really good style of production, and she sounds great in here. The harmony here, the melody, oh fuck! God, the sound. I love the style so much. Ooh, this backing vocal. I don't even remember. I don't even remember half of this, but it's so fucking good. Oh, it's a celebration, indeed! I'm having the time of my life. I love how the harmony is different in the first part, the the first line, and then the second line. Oh god, that is so pretty. I just love how upbeat and happy and airy this is. Okay, so that is literal perfection. And like, I knew I was gonna love it just because I, you know, I love that song then. And in general, this era in pop music is like my favorite. <laughs> my absolute favorite, you know, some of my favorite all-time songs are from 2009 and 2010. But even nostalgia aside, the style of the production is just so good. It's just my type. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it still has to do with that nostalgia factor, but I just really love, first of all, the lead synth. It's fantastic. I love sounds like that. I love how airy this felt, and it is such a perfect dance track. It's perfect. It's perfectly executed. It's flawless. It has everything. It has good Madonna vocals. It has harmonies. It has a lovely and memorable chorus melody. It just makes me happy. This kind of music makes me happy and I want more. <laughs> I'm so glad there's one more fun song to listen to from this era because I did not have enough. Now we're gonna watch the music video because I don't know if I've ever heard the remix. Maybe I have. Maybe the remix is what I listen to, but <laughs> I don't remember. I guess we will find out. Another thing that I remember, like the reason that I remember this song, I guess, is that I have this distinct memory of me and my best friend sitting like, uh, you know, like I was like, what, 14? maybe. You know, we were sitting during like autumn vacation, we were sitting on a bench near our block of flats, apartment building. 
<laughs> Literally, I suddenly don't know how to English. Anyway, like we were sitting next to a house. It was dark outside already, and we were listening to the song. And I was like, that's a really good song, you know. Like, and and that was probably after Hung Up. That was the second Madonna song that I was actually really in love with. Because, like I said, I enjoyed Give It to Me back then, but I wasn't really in love with it back then. Whereas this, I fucking loved. But yeah, enough memories. Let's go to listen to Revolver. I have a story for that one too. But first, let's listen to the song because I really only remember the chorus from that one. Also, I don't remember it being actually featuring Lil Wayne. So that's gonna be interesting. So let's click play and let's see what that one's all about. Oh. Just this style of electronic music. And I used to like, kind of like, not really like electronic music back then for some reason. I was more into rock and pop, but... Oh fuck, I love those lyrics so much. And that beat. It's interesting how the vocals are pretty buried in the mix. Who produced these? Because they did a damn good job. This chorus. And it was so edgy and back then. Like, you're, you know, like you're an uh, early teen and you love edgy stuff. So like that was like, yes. <laughs> God, it's so fucking good. Like somebody would put this out now and it wouldn't sound dated at all. Maybe it's just because I really love it. <laughs> I really love how the vocals are produced here. That harmony is nice too. I love those lyrics so much, and I remember I loved them back then so much for being so edgy. Ooh, who's the baddest of them all? <laughs> oh? Oh, that really sounds cool. That back and vocal was nice, I miss it. <laughs> I really like how this verse sounds. It's really different. God, fuck. This chorus is literally doing things to me. What is it about it? Is it? I think it's just the lyrics and the vibe. That sounds so fucking good. Oh wow. Oh, I just now got the pun. <laughs> Now it's even better! <laughs> Those vocals, oh my god, I fucking love this. Every single bit of it. So, this was even better than I remembered it, honestly, just like the first one. You know, like, you might say that, oh, it's just because, you know, like, nostalgia and stuff like that. And partly, yes, it is, but also, I've had many instances where I remember a song to be really super good. And then I listen to it, and it's kind of underwhelming, you know, like, when you listen to it after quite a few years. And when your ear is a lot more trained, and you're like, oh, this is not produced that well. And, you know, like, it's not as satisfying as I remember it being, but this? Good God. Both of those songs are produced so well. I already remember them very highly and I had, you know, high expectations for them because I used to love them so much and they turned out to sound even better than I remember them and I am just so happy about this. And, you know, like, Revolver, especially, like I said, like, the choruses doing things to me, I think it's the lyrics and the beat and just the energy that it has, just the sexy energy that it has. It just, wow, I cannot wait to listen to these two songs again because these are definitely among my Madonna favorites. I don't even care what the reason is. I don't even care if this just because I remember them from when I was like uh, the preteen being edgy or because they're actually good songs. I actually don't know how the fans rate these songs like you know like whether they're remembered fondly or you know it's more like the hard candy era where everybody's like oh my god it's you know some of her worst because I really do love those two songs a lot and you know like it doesn't happen with every single Madonna album or song that I listen to but now I literally can't wait to add them to my playlist and listen to them on repeat because I miss them so much and I held off from listening to any Madonna songs that I had heard previously because you know like I wanted to experience them again for the first time in this reaction marathon so now that we got through this era I can finally listen to them on repeat and just bathe in the goodness and the quality that these two tracks serve anyway <laughs> enough 
gushing about how amazing this era is and let's go watch the music video for a celebration. Have a nice night. Oh. You look familiar. Oh my god. Interesting outfit. Oh. I love that guy's moves. Her outfit is interesting, not my favorite, but you know. The choppiness of it is fun. I really like how the remix is a little bit more minimal in the verse. Fingerless gloves are my only weakness. Well, not my only weakness, but... <laughs> oh my god. I love that guy's outfit. Oh my god, I think... I used to listen to the remix, because I remember this part very clearly. The video though I hadn't seen before, I think. Ooh. I love the dance moves. Oh. Her hair is nice in this. I love the editing. Oh, that move. Her fingerless gloves are gonna end me. Oh? Now it's a party. I actually really love how the remix is produced. Oh. Oh. I don't remember that part. Oh, that, that was interesting. <laughs> that was definitely interesting. So that was simple, a little bit boring, but not boring enough. <laughs> I mean, it was still entertaining. Madonna with fingerless gloves, like that alone can entertain me. So it was, <laughs> it was good enough. And the fact that the video was edited really fast, like I love fast editing because that single-handedly can make the video not boring. Even if you film like two or three shots for that music video, like, like if you cut it fast, change between scenes fast, you're gonna get an interesting video. You're gonna keep me entertained. <laughs> So yeah, that was enjoyable, but I mean like the highlight of course is the song itself. Now I don't remember that ending being like that in, in the remix, but I've definitely heard the remix before, but I also think I've heard the original before, so I don't know, because I never like deliberately went to listen to albums and stuff like that back then. I didn't really start listening to albums as albums until I was like 15 maybe, with the exception of a few of my favorite artists from earlier, but you know like downloading a full album was than a thing for me for a long while, even though I loved listening to music. So that's why it's interesting to see which versions of songs I've heard and where I've heard them, you know, like trying to remember where exactly I could have heard them. But yeah, the production of these two songs in this compilation era was really amazing. Like that's what blew me away. And of course, Madonna's vocal sounded amazing. I just had a really, really good time. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you the story about Revolver. <laughs> I told you I would, but I think the, the first time that I heard that song, my best friend showed it to me and it was a like a YouTube edit of a, I think it was a guy from Tokyo Hotel. I don't know how many of you have heard of Tokyo Hotel. If you're European, you probably have because they were a very big thing back then. So it was an edit of a guy from Tokyo Hotel set to that song, like a video edit of him set to Madonna's Revolver. And it was such a cool song, you know, because the lyrics in the chorus, like, you know, we were old enough back then to understand already the lyrics. So, you know, like, and they really, you know, even now they sound really edgy, you know, like my love's a revolver, you know, like just comparing things to guns, especially in this climate, is a really edgy thing to do. I don't know if it was considered edgy back then, but now it definitely would be. So me and my friends really loved edgy stuff because, you know, like you're at that age. So I really like that song. It just, it just like cracks me up that I literally, I saw it from like a band member edit <laughs> on YouTube. It's a really good song and I can't wait to listen to it again. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction because next time we're listening to MDMA and that is so exciting because like if anything's gonna bring me nostalgia it's gonna be that album because I have so many memories associated with some of these songs I don't know if I've even heard the full album but the singles like Girl Gone Wild oh my god I am probably literally gonna cry just the memories <laughs> the memories that we made to these songs oh my god okay so hope you guys are as excited as I am for the next reaction that's gonna be in another two weeks and I know we're nearing the end of this reaction marathon but there's gonna be lots of performances and tours to 
react to so it's not over yet so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time i love you guys bye